Hi Taurus, welcome to Pure Tarot. I'm doing a new series called Who's Around You and Why. I'm gonna try and determine um, through some Kipper cards to start with. Um, these cards will often point to people, but sometimes it'll be the circumstances and the motivation. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna do pop outs, but one came out. Two. Okay, so in your case, it's amazing. Privileged lady and thoughts. So the person around you is this lady. Um, so you don't have to, um, we don't have to be gender specific, but it would point to definitely a feminine energy, right? Who I believe is thinking um, back at you. So let me explain what I'm saying. Uh, you would be this gentleman and you would be thinking about this lady here in the cameo and vice versa. I think this lady is thinking of you, right? The energy goes both ways. So I want to say, Taurus, that um, you are both thinking about one another. Let's draw some tarot and get more. <laughs> so some cards flipped. We have four cards. So I'm gonna put on my glasses. <laughs> we have judgment in reverse. The hermit. We have the seven of cups. And we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, it's really interesting um, it's like it's almost like I'm getting both sides of the story here um, the way I've placed the cards I will show you quickly I've put basically sorry it's crooked anyway I've put the two major arcanas above the two minor I'm doing this because I feel like the judgment goes with the Seven of Cups and the Hermit would be read with the Eight of Pentacles. So for me, the judgments, so I don't know which energy is whose, right? So the, this lady feminine energy or yours, whether you're men or woman, it doesn't matter. So this other person versus you. One person, uh, although they're thinking about you, uh, they're thinking that they don't want to repeat this with you and they, they're actually considering all of their options. Um, <laughs> and you're one of them. You're one of those seven cups here. Even if they don't want to necessarily repeat things with you, So I'm sensing two things. It's like this person won't let go uh, of you until they catch another cup, right? Until they have truly another options. Those are just like around them, but nothing is concretized. It's been concretized. Concretize, I'm not sure that's a word in English. So to, to make manifest or or without even ever repeating anything with you this person has a pattern <laughs> that's where that's what the judgment would be here in this case that's a really interesting read for me because I sense a pattern and yet um, they're breaking the pattern. So there's something different about what they're doing. And I think it has to do with, um, so your side could be that, 
you're wanting to isolate yourself from this person and you're not want, wanting to invest and work on this with them. So both of you are pretty much in the same uh, energy of knowing that this is not something that you want to carry on with. What's really strange is this thing about being on each other's minds constantly. It feels like both of you are working through patterns. Almost like um, I don't know how to explain this. It's like wanting what was really, really good about what they felt when they connected with you and yet not wanting um, things to go the same way they did when it, when it happened with you, no matter what happened. Uh, it's irrelevant. It's, it's the energy that it, it felt, how it felt, right, for each of you. So what's really strange about your reading is that they're around you in thoughts, not in presence, you know, not physically around you, only in thought. Because neither of you, one is not wanting to repeat this, and the other one is totally, um, has totally turned um, and isolated themselves. I'm really sensing that the breaking the pattern um, is really, really important here. I'm just trying to see if there's another way for me to describe this energy. There's nothing else that's coming. It's really just a feeling. I get two uh, Whispering Woods cards. <laughs> I need my glasses for those. One is clearing. The other one is time. So clearing says make room for growth. And time says embrace in the new drops of life before they disappear in the morning sun. So for me, the clearing is breaking the patterns I was describing. It's really interesting because I'm only feeling it. It's not necessarily in the tarot cards per se, right? I don't have a card that is expi explicitly describing this. Yet this card will is confirming this idea of breaking a pattern. I think it has to do with uh, waiting on one another. It has to do with um, the passage of time, those thoughts, those... Um, interesting to me because there's some there's something about this card the time card that has to do with seizing the moment right and so I wonder if that's the lesson in this 
situation. I think that has to do with breaking the pattern. For me, it's it's linked in the sense that um, breaking the pattern would rely on living more in the moment and seizing the opportunities. It's an interesting thing. Hmm. What's interesting is that um, it's telling us um, that this person won't be around you for very long anymore. So that's what the cards are telling us. <laughs> Anyways, I'll end it here, Taurus. Um, I wonder if it resonated at all. Uh, hopefully it did somehow. <laughs> I hope you um, share, like, and subscribe. But I hope to see you soon on the next video. Thank you so much.